Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for April the 29th. Morning prayer begins on page 80. <clears throat> Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. On this day the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, open our lips and our, our mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We'll use the canticle on page 83. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. <clears throat> Psalms appointed for today are Psalms 16 and 17. beginning on page 599. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Hear my plea of innocence, O Lord. Go ahead. Give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer, which does not come from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Weigh my heart, summon me by night, melt me down, you will find no impurity in me. I give no offense with my mouth as others do. I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast to the ways of your law, in your paths my feet shall not stumble. I call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me your marvelous loving kindness, O Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who assault me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed their hearts to pity and their mouth speaks proud things. They press me hard, now they surround me, watching how they may cast me to the ground. Like a lion greedy for its prey, and like a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, confront them and bring them down. Deliver me from the wicked by your sword. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand, from those whose portion in life is this world. Whose belly <coughs> will fill with your treasure, who are well supplied with children and leave their wealth to their little ones. But at my vindication, I shall see your face. 
When I awake, I shall be satisfied, beholding your likeness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the disciples, I have said all this to you to keep you from falling away. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father, nor me. But I have said these things to you, that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you of them. I did not say these things to you from the beginning, because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convince the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Concerning sin, because they do not believe in me. Concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father, and you will see me no more. Concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will use Canticle 18 on page 93. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, our Lord. Lord. He, he was, was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery has established the new covenant of reconciliation. Grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith, 
Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we pray for your church, that in this Easter season we may have the faith to know our Lord as risen indeed. O God of creation, in love you brought this world into being, and in mercy you called it to new life in your Son. Bless Christians throughout the world who are celebrating the Easter feast, that it may be for us all a season of encouragement, a time of thanksgiving, and an inspiration to bring the gospel to others through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, we pray for peace in our world, that laying aside the violence of our hearts, we may work together for a world in which all people can flourish. God of love, in whom we are all united, bring us together in your peace. Bring us and all the nations of the world together in your peace. Keep us from the temptations of blame and aggression to which our human struggle so often leads, and help us instead to pursue the ways of gentleness, diplomacy, and understanding. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. This time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. Together on page 101, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your, your unworthy, unworthy servants, servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means, the means of, grace, of grace, and for the, the hope of glory. And, and we, pray, we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may, we may show forth your praise, praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.